welcome to my class. Our topic, Identifying Appropriate Rejection Region Involving Population Proportion. Our objectives are determine the critical value using the given level of significance, transform the alternative hypothesis from statement into symbols, and lastly, illustrate and identify the rejection region under the normal curve. To begin with, let's have the activity entitled Group Me. The following are the common terms or phrases used to describe whether the alternative hypothesis is directional or non-directional, such as right-tailed, left-tailed, or two-tailed. Let, let us group them in this given table. Let us use the first word, worsen. Worsen belongs to left-tailed. Less also belongs to left-tailed. Lower Less than, decreased, smaller, the next word will be not equal to, which belongs to two-tailed, change, under two-tailed, not the same as, under two-tailed, higher, which falls to right-tailed, greater than, the right tailed, more on the right tailed, increased, improve, favored, effective, are all on the right tailed. Next is effects, which is under two tailed, different. Varied and influence. So remember this word for you to be able to translate a given alternative hypothesis. Moving on, let's have the activity entitled Tell Me Now. The direction states in each of the following statements formulate the alternative hypothesis, then determine if it describes two tailed, right tailed, or left tailed. Given the statement, the hypothesis that less than 20% of the population is right-handed. The keyword here that you're going to observe is less than, which means the population is less than 0.20. It falls under the left tail test. Next one. The hypothesis that the proportion of COVID patients in the hospital is not 0.40. The keyword here is the word is not, which refers to P is not equal to 0.40, which falls under two tailed. Next statement, the hypothesis that more than 45% of the barangay population is male residents. To translate it under alternative hypothesis, we have P is greater than 0.45 and it falls under right tail test. The next statement, the claim that less than 35% of the students are fluent Filipino language speakers. Keyword, less than. The alternative hypothesis will be P is less than 0.35. It falls under left tail test. Next one, the principals claim that 30% of grade 11 students at San Salitex Senior High School stay in the canteen after classes. The given claim is 30%. In order for us to create alternative hypothesis, this will become P is not equal to 0.30. And this will fall under two-tailed test. The last statement, the hypothesis that there is enough evidence to conclude that the percentage of students from Rizal who are in favor of the new uniform is different from 85%. The key word, different. It falls under P is not equal to 0.85, which falls under 
two-day test. Let us remember there are two ways to test that hypothesis, with the p-value approach and with the critical value approach. Here, we will consider the rejection region with the critical value approach. The critical value enables us to reject or not the null hypothesis. Also, it is calculated through alpha and symbolized by Z or Z tab. Let us use again the given statement. The hypothesis that less than 20% of the population is right-handed. Given the alternative hypothesis, P is less than 0.20, which falls under left tail test. To illustrate the given, we are going to write the critical value on the left tail test on the left tail, which shows the critical value and shader given rejection region. Let's take another example. A sample of 100 students is randomly selected from General Jeronimo Liserio Memorial National High School and 18 of them said they are left-handed. Test the hypothesis that less than 20% of the students are left-handed by using the ALPA, which is 0 0.05, as the level of significance. Here is what are we going to do. Identify the level of significance. Formulate the alternative hypothesis. Determine the critical value or the Z-tab. And illustrate the rejection region in the normal curve. To identify the level of significance, we have the alpha which is 0 0.05. To formulate the alternative hypothesis, we have alternative hypothesis equals to P which is less than 0.20. And to determine the critical value, we're going to utilize the z-table. Since the given is left tail test and falls under the alpha which is 0 0.05, our given critical value or z-tab is negative 1.645. Now, to illustrate the rejection region in the normal curve, we're going to use the standard normal curve figure. Showing the critical value from the left side, which is negative 1.645, and the shaded region, which is our rejection region. To deepen our understanding, let us take this example. The claim is made that 40% of tax filers use computer software to file their taxes. In a sample of 50 tax filers, 14 used computer software to file their taxes. If the alternative hypothesis P is less than 0.40 at alpha, which is 0 0.025, where P is the population proportion who use computer software to file their taxes. What to do? Let us determine the critical value or the Z-tab and illustrate the rejection region in the normal curve. Observing the given, which is P is less than 0.40, the alpha of 0 0.025, it falls under left tail test. To illustrate that, we're going to use the C table. Showing that that is a left tail test with 0 0.025 as the alpha. Therefore, the critical value or the Z-tab is negative 1.96. To illustrate it in our given normal curve, let us now draw the critical value of the line, which is 1.96, which divides the non-rejection region and the rejection region. The line shows the critical value and the shaded region shows the rejection region. Let us take another example. In Kasiglan Village Special Education School, a sample of 144 students was chosen and among them, 48 are diagnosed with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder or ADHD. At the ALPA 0.01, test the hypothesis that the proportion of ADHD students in the school is not 0.40. What are we going to do? Let us identify the level of significance, formulate the alternative hypothesis, determine the critical value, and illustrate the rejection region in the normal curve. To identify the level of significance, let us now determine the alpha, which is 0 0.01. To formulate the alternative hypothesis, given that the keyword which is not 0.40, the alternative hypothesis P is not equal to 0.40. To determine the critical value, we're going to utilize again the Z-table. 
determining that that is under 2 tailed, the given alpha, which is 0 0.01, it falls under positive negative 2.575. To illustrate the rejection region in the normal curve, I'm going to use the normal curve figure showing the given critical value, which is negative 2.575 and positive 2.575, which is the critical value, and the shaded region, which is our rejection region. Let's take another activity entitled, Be Critical. The direction states, determine the critical value and illustrate the rejection region under the normal curve by using the given condition. The first one is the alternative hypothesis P, is not equal to 0.32. The given alpha, which is 0 0.05, let us determine the critical value and illustrate the rejection region. To determine the critical value, we're going to utilize the Z's table, showing that the given alternative hypothesis is not equal to, which falls under two tail test, with the given alpha, which is 0 0.05. Therefore, our given critical value, or Z tab, is positive negative 1.96. To illustrate the rejection region, I'm going to utilize the normal curve. Illustrating the two given critical value, which is negative 1.96, and positive 1.96, which is the critical value, and the shaded region, which is our rejection region. Let's take another one. Given the alternative hypothesis, P is greater than 0.35 with alpha, which is 0 0.01. Let us determine the critical value and illustrate the rejection region. Again, we're going to use the Z table. Since the given symbol is greater than, it falls under right tail test. And the alpha, which is 0 0.01, therefore, our given Z tab or critical value is 2.33. To illustrate the rejection region, we're going to locate the given critical value, which is 2.33, and shade our given rejection region. For the summary, the basis for the critical or the rejection region dictated by the alternative hypothesis is called level of significance. The range of the values of the test value, which indicates that there is a significant difference and that the null hypothesis should be rejected, is called Rejection region. The critical value separates the rejection region and the non-rejection region. The C tab is the symbol used to represent the critical value. Lastly, the non-rejection region is the range of the values of the test value, which indicates that the difference was statistically insignificant and that we failed to reject the null hypothesis. To end our lesson, let us reflect on the quotes which states. Rejection is merely a redirection, a course correction to your destiny. From Bryant H. McKeel. That's all for today, class. Thank you for listening. And always remember, aim high, senior high.